folks, I'm back with the ones I found in Queensland. These are just the ones I've found over time that I've wanted to do. Now you saw that one. You now look at it. You see? When they're wet, they're different. I like them wet. Some of them I just thought that they were looking cool and I just wanted to see what they come like. It has a lot of pinks in it. Nothing exciting. Just a red bit of brownish, reddish jasper with big quartz in it. Um, don't know what you call that. A rock? Yeah, a rock. Good one. Now this one I found like this. And then when I turned it over, it saw all that red in it. Isn't that gorgeous? So, all of it's like that. Except for this, that, yeah, it's boring. When I found it like that, that was exposed. So if I can find more bits of fiery red in it, that would be really awesome. So maybe it might come off the top. It's really damaged. There's a hole in there, so it might crack too. But we'll give it a go. See what it turns out like. See? How cool is that? I don't know if it would be brown when the white comes off. Or if that's just sunburnt. We'll find out. Might just be like that. Had green in it. It might turn into nothing, but we'll have a look. There's a bit of a vein of quartz there. Some brown ones. It's nothing special, just things I liked when I saw them on the ground. Picked them up, that was because that was yellow. See how yellow that is? I want to take a slice off that later, but we'll see. Might polish up better, but I doubt it. There's lots of cracks in it, you can see goes right across so it might not be a very good one but I might get banned from there I don't know so I'll polish it first this boring pits of quartz that one some more brown jasper it's got bits there maybe yeah it looks like brown jasper to me same as that one with big quartz in it Let's see how it goes that's cool. I don't know if that will break off that bit of quartz down the bottom of that. We'll find out. Just an orange rock. Some more proper orange ones until you wash them or wet them. And then they turn into something different. Spotty one. Now these are getting wet because I'm dripping on all over them. I don't know, I just thought that dark purple in there was really cool. I don't know if it's picking up or not. But it's a boring rock other than that. Last lot. Oops, really drop one. Just a bit of quartz. Pinkish quartz. I think that's a bit of driftwood. I'm not too sure. Ah, uh, not driftwood. Petrified wood. Kind of looks like it. But I'm not too sure. I like that. I don't know what it would tumble like though. I think that one's just boring, but we'll find out. And that's one, I like this one because it's all different. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's cool. Okay. I don't know if they will go for you. Yay! Yeah, that will do, won't it? Of course it will. Let's squish that one down there. Gotta put the beads in. Filler, that's all it is, just filler. You don't have to use beads. I just like using them. Some water. I've got tap water. I just refill the bottle. I 
and I could get 10 cents back for that, but I have to go get more water because I'm out. And just like that, I had more. And just like that, I didn't need any more. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Now we're going to put some grit in. That one will be the one today. This is a good one. I like doing this one. I need three scoops. This is the one that sinks. Isn't it cute? Oh, maybe not for you, but it is for me. Dry that off. Put my lid back on my grit. Put my grit away. Find the lids. Now we put the lids on. Hopefully, I've done it right. The next lid on. This is the boring part because I'm not doing much besides putting it back together and making sure it doesn't leak and then put it on the machine. Then you get to see my hand. Make sure it's not leaking everywhere. Pick it up. Put it on the machine. Turn the machine on the wall so it actually goes. And in a week's time we'll see how they go. Catch you later. Bye.